Hello. In this tutorial, I'm trying to show you how you can um, record the sound of, for example, an analog synthesizer you have. You just have been tweaking the knobs for two hours. You got to that perfect magical sound and you want to capture that sound. Um, in order to do that, we are going to sample the synth and create a instrument in life itself with the sounds of the sun. Okay, first of all, what I did here is just create an audio track and put some sample in it, it or clip in it. It doesn't actually matter what the clip is um, because we will just use this clip to create a MIDI track. And that's another thing to, um, to mention here. The MIDI track um, will be used to trigger the synth. So if your synth is not uh, able to receive MIDI data, then this tutorial will probably not help you that much. It might still, but uh, well, it's easier if you have a MIDI capable synth. So the first step here is pretty simple. We take this clip and we tell it to slice it to a new MIDI track. Now this is all in German, so please don't be confused, but I will hopefully uh, say the right, uh, the right English uh, translation of these things. Maybe let me get just one second here. I can just switch this. I'll okay, have to restart it. That's annoying. No, then we just stay on a German live version. Live with it. Okay, perfect. So we slice this to a new MIDI track. Now it will tell me here um, to create one slice per, and right here I will basically choose yeah, 160 for example. The point here is to get 128 slices. So uh, if you have to choose one for a tooth note, then take that. If you have to choose quarter notes or eighth notes, then use that. The point is get a clip with 128 samples. And here I will just use the, I don't know, I think it's just and when we hit OK, it will just create a drum track, a drum rack actually, with all the little slices from the clip. Now I don't need the drum rack, so the way goes the drum rack, just delete it. What we want is the MIDI clip. Because what we have now is a very nice and clean MIDI clip playing every note starting at C-2 up to G8. And this is what we want. Now let's say you only are interested in, um, in your synth in a certain range. I mean, you will probably not go up to G8 and you will probably not start at C minus 2. Okay, so let's say you start at C1. So just select everything below it and delete it. And we will just go up to, I don't know, let's make this easy for me and for you. Let's go up to C4 here. Okay, let's make this easier. Just use this selection tool. And uh, move upwards. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Okay, just get rid of all that stuff. <clears throat> now, what we do is we just take that one here. I say uh, to loop the selection. Well, actually, this was also not so cool. Let's select those here and tell him to loop the selection. And then we just cut the clip to the appropriate size using the clip trim probably button here. 
Now we have a MIDI track triggering every note from C1 to C4. Very nice. Now, the next step is to make this MIDI track as long as it needs to be. What I mean by that is, if I would play this through the synth I want to sample, and I hope you already see where this is going, then every note would be pretty short here, okay? Just a, I think a 16th, I choose. So you would not get the full tone of your synth. You would only get a very small, uh, very small, uh, basically a very short sample at the beginning, but not the entire, uh, not the entire loop you might want you to get. Okay. Oh, sorry, I have to fix my mic here. Good. So, how do we make this clip longer or shorter? Well, very easy with those buttons here. Okay, if you don't see them, click on this button here and you have them and you can just make single notes longer or shorter. Aha, uh -huh, tricky. Once you have selected them, if you have nothing selected, it will make the entire clip longer or shorter. Okay, so test this with your synth. Okay, just let one note play and then decide how much time you need for each sample, for each note sample. And then adjust the length of those clips accordingly. Sorry, my Never invest into cheap mic stands. Don't do it. Buy the good ones because the cheap ones will not hold your condenser mic because it is so freaking heavy. So, yeah, well, whatever, it doesn't work. So, if my voice changes over time, then it's because my mic is moving slowly down onto my desk. Maybe I can move this one closer in and now this should this should work okay sorry for that okay let's say you did this let's say you have your MIDI track the way you want it now the next step would be to actually send this MIDI information to your synth for example so you open up the input output tab here and what you do is you select your synth here it should pop up okay if you have MIDI outputs configured i have not right now so i will not use a i will not use a uh, analog synth i will just do something really really silly and take Sound. This is a perfect sound for this example. I will just take the analog synth in in life and sample that one. This doesn't make sense. Don't do this. It's just for uh, for demonstration purposes in this case. Okay. Now we have our analog synth. Here. What I do is I will send the MIDI data to the analog synth. Here. Okay. Turning monitoring on, and if I play this, you hear the MIDI data playing the synth. Okay, now, as you might have noticed, this was too fast. This was way too fast. You cannot sample like that. So let's make this maybe a few times more the size and let's just sample to C2 okay it's just for for this tutorial here this will be completely enough again loop this and then cut the selection okay perfect now if I play this it should be much slower 
very nice. This would be maybe the correct time to sample a synth with this sound. Maybe even double the time, just to get the entire um, transient of the sound. Okay, good. Once you have done that, basically now all we need is another audio track on which we will actually then record our audio. So, disable recording here, I don't need that. And this one will get its audio from, you guessed it, the electrocurrent base. <coughs> we select it here. Okay, we go post mixer, doesn't really matter. This audio will not be sent to the master. Well, it doesn't actually matter, but it can actually. Uh, let's leave it on. Doesn't matter. Let's see if this worked. Yes, it did. Very nice. Okay. Let's disable this one so we don't send the audio from this one to our master. And perfect. We're now one step closer. Now basically all we have to do, or all that's left to do, is we set this track on recording. Here on the scene launch, I selected start recording when launching the scene. Uh, this is just for convenience. You don't need to do this, but it's a little bit easier. Now all you do is you press this button here and you start sampling your synth. So long, so far, so simple, right? Now, as you can see, this process can take quite some time. Uh, as I said, normally I would maybe sample this with the double MIDI note length. So one octave would basically take probably like, I don't know, one minute or even longer. So this sampling will of course take take its time, but uh, I mean, that's not a problem here, right? Okay, let's just wait till this is finished and stop the track here. Okay, and stop recording there. Now you can see here on the last note, I actually, I stopped it too early, clipped off the last note, but in this case, it doesn't matter. Cut the track to the right length, cut it, okay, perfect. Now what we have is a, is a nice audio track with our actual sampled instrument, okay. We have one slice here for every note we had in our MIDI track, very cool, okay. Now what can we do with this? Well, we can do actually quite a lot with this. Um, let me show you what is the easiest way to achieve to make this to an, into an instrument. Again, you go slice the new MIDI track, you choose transients here, it will create 12 slicers, 3, 6, 9, 12, perfect. And here you choose any of the sampler presets. Um, the, the different presets actually will change the, uh, the pre-configured, uh, will, will change the, 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 um, the sampler itself. It will not change how, how the, the slices will be integrated into sampler. So I choose just bit of that here, click OK. And what it now created is exactly what we want. It created a a zone, or it basically it started the sampler in the um, the the multi sample mode, and it already assigned each slice to one note on the MIDI keyboard. Okay, so basically, if I now let's see. I'm actually not playing this one, not in particular. 